Hey, this is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. We've got ourselves a new toy. This is a Synology NAS. This is the brand new one that has just been released. We're gonna go through the unboxing. We're gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna talk about some of the basic features. Uh, then we're gonna plug it up and we're gonna have a look at it. Really excited about this. Just got it today. Please remember as always to click on that button and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. All right, so let's go through it. Really, really excited about this and really happy to show you guys what we've got today. Contents looks good. It's the unit that I thought it was. That's good, they didn't send me the wrong thing. And here's the box, DS920 Disk Station by Synology. Looks pretty good. Four bay, NAS, scalable. Excellent, it's got a little handle on the box, as you can see. Pretty happy. Okay, let's, let's have a look at that in a second. A lot of cardboard, but it's neat. It's neat, that's what's good about it. That's just a little padding for the top of the unit. Let's see what's inside one of these. We got one, two ethernet cables. Got a pair of keys. We've got our power adapter. So it is a separate power adapter. You'll find that some NASs come with a power adapter uh, built in, the P PDU built in. Um, I like it personally to be external. I know it's annoying because it is this other piece of thing, but um, if your power supply dies, then you don't have to replace the whole unit. You've just got to replace this. So it's much easier if you have to do any troubleshooting and warranty claims and things like that. Installation guide, but we're not gonna read that. Um, we don't read installation guides, do we? A few little screws. And then the other end of our PDU. Nice little cable, I like that. What is that you say? Well, that is an Australian plug. If you're watching this somewhere else, this may look very alien to you. All right, here's the unit itself. Now what's nice is that it's not very heavy. It's actually quite light. Now, of course, it doesn't have any hard drives in it, but having used a lot of other NASs, uh, other NASs can already be quite heavy without any hard drives, even internal. Uh, but this is actually quite light. Uh, and that's it, nothing more in the box. And there it is, the unit itself, beautiful. DS920 Plus actually looks quite similar to the previous model, yet this has had a bit of a boost to it uh, in a number of different areas internally, while the external box does look the same. You know, if, if you've got an existing Synology NAS, uh, you may not want to upgrade because it's not a huge jump and the design is essentially the same. But if you're new to a NAS, if you've got a different brand NAS, you know, if you've got a Netgear, you've got a QNAP, you've got any other brand of NAS, you may want to go and consider one of these. Hot off the press and they look really good, really slick and really good quality for Synology. Synology is excellent. I've used Synology for years in the enterprise world. Large scale rack units of uh, Synology, they're awesome. So you've got your four bays on the front, you've got your LEDs, you've got a status, and then your four LEDs for your discs, disc one through to four. You've got a USB port on the front, and you've got your power switch right there. Nice Synology logos on either side of the Synology unit itself. And on the back, we've got two big fans, or at least the, the, uh, the grate where you can see the fans spinning. You've got dual, uh, Ethernet ports. Now these are gigabit Ethernets. There was a bit of say around whether Synology, the new models of Synology NASs would be bringing um, faster, uh, um, you know, faster than gigabit Ethernet speeds, uh, but they didn't. These are gigabit, which is a bit of a, a, a bummer in my opinion. You've got an eSATA if you want to expand it. You've got your power where you run the power brick into. You've got another USB as well. You've got a little lock and that's it on the back. On the bottom of the unit, we've got a couple of slots here for smaller form factor 
SSDs. Essentially it's an NVMe, which is, stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. Uh, and really they're just smaller form factor SSD hard drives, um, PCI Express type of connections in the bottom here, which uh, essentially act as, um, as a fast cache, cache uh, sort of unit. So accessing data, writing data can be quicker when you do have these two uh, installed into your unit. You don't have to put them in there, but it will improve the performance of your NAS. Uh, you have two because two is always better and there is a bit of technology around why you have two. We're not gonna go into the details, but you can run it with just the one. The other thing is on, on the front of the unit, you've got the little keyhole here. You use your key, you can actually lock that drive so that right here I can just open it and turn it and I can't actually remove the uh, the drive itself. It's just a little extra safety mechanism. Now, of course, this unit uh, does not come with any hard drives. So if we go ahead and open one of these up, essentially it's just a tray. You're gonna stick the hard drive into here, you're gonna screw it into place, and then you're gonna put it back in. So normally you buy the units empty. They won't have any hard drives inside of it. So just keep that in mind if, if you're thinking from a budget perspective, you'll have to buy this and then buy the four drives or however many drives you want to be running uh, in here. Uh, you may already have spare drives, which is great. Uh, you can stick four, you can stick three, you can stick two. You can then go and create your different RAID groups as you so need to. I've got myself four hard drives already that I prepared earlier. And then literally all you do is you slot it in, screw it into place, and then in it goes into the NAS. All right, so then the unit is ready to go. You can now plug it in, plug it into the network and get it up and running and you should be good to go from there. Follow up with my next video that I'll be releasing shortly, which will go through the steps on how to configure the Synology NAS from scratch. We're gonna go through the basic configuration, the setup. So stay tuned for that one. But that's it for this video here. I hope you found it helpful and hopefully uh, you will you know, consider this NAS. Um, it does look pretty good. It works really good. It's brand new. So you're not gonna be uh, caught out with Synology releasing a product uh, anytime soon. Um, so get it right now. If you need a NAS, go ahead and get it. Quite good. Synology is a great sturdy brand that is always recommended. Please like this video, comment below. Let me know below if you found this helpful. If you wanna give me recommendations on other videos that I could be recording, and as always, remember to always subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. See you later.